All right, my truth and wisdom seekers. What we're gonna do today is take the output of the McCulloch generator, which is coming up this line here, going into this dry uh, step up transformer. Can step up uh, 120 all the way to 240 uh, to 480. Uh, supposedly it's rated for 25 kilowatts. And we have a matching 25 kilowatt uh, pole transformer over here, which we're going to be feeding the larger voltage that we get. We have a couple of clamp on amp meters, an old analog one, a nice new digital one. We'll get numbers on both of those. We'll also, of course, get a voltage reading of how much power we're putting into this first pole transformer. Uh, the output of it is uh, com coming up from this ear of this one to that, that ear of the uh, other pole transformer, the 10 kilowatt one over there. Uh, for the double eared pole transformers, which both of these are, this is very, uh, pretty much the same thing as grounding the case of both of them to, to get together. Uh, anyway, we're coming off the other ear, coming, coming up to our switch coming out the switch and going into that other pole transformer over there. Uh, we'll start with this switch being open. So we'll look at how much power is coming out of the generator uh, to energize this coil. And it's going to be very little when it has no load on it, of course. Uh, then we'll turn on the switch, take some additional current readings of vo voltage and power going into this first transformer. And then we'll take the output of this second transformer, come down here to this heater unit, and we'll take voltage and current readings here of how much power is going in, into that unit. Um, so let's start the experiment over here. Come down here to the McCulloch generator that we've modified to run on propane. Turn on the propane valve. And, uh, foot against this thing. like we knew what was going on. My thanks to this person that suggested I make it run on propane or natural gas or gasoline, because gasoline's expensive. A bottle of propane's pretty cheap. Anyway, uh, generator started, and right now, both the analog and digital meter are showing zero amps of current going into this transformer. And uh, seeing zero volts, hook up this lead. We got 350 volts. Um, coming out of this step up transformer, sitting, energizing the coil of that thing. Now we're going to turn on this switch. And that puts this load of the second transformer on the secondary of the first transformer. And you might have heard the generator did increase or in load. And you can see this meter here has moved up just a little bit. Hard to tell because 20 amps really is the first scale. But uh, this nice new digital meter says we have 7.95 amps of current going into here and our voltage is 262 volts of AC current. So we'll take our nice digital current meter. So those numbers were what's going into this with this trans and it has actually as a load uh, this heating element and 
going to set down these meters. And we'll start plugging leads in, into it at various points. Loading on it. Um, 152 volts, 12.72. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so you can see it. 152 volts, 12.70 amps. And we had the other numbers that when we in input it. So we'll do some calculations and post that results see how that looks. We'll go turn this generator off. <laughs> 